Mordecai Richler was a famous Canadian author. He was born and raised in the Montreal neighborhood, Mile End, and I am proud to have this in common with him. He was born into a working class Jewish family and lived in an apartment on St. Urban Street. He attended Baron Bing High School, which is now an elementary school called Bancroft, and later enrolled at St. Sir George's University for a brief period of time before dropping out and moving to Paris. It was here that he first started writing seriously. He published the first novel, The Acrobats, or Wicked We Love, in 1954 while living in London, England. London is also where he met his second wife, Florence. They got together while she was still going through her divorce, so their relationship was considered adultery and illegal. He adopted her son and they had four more children together before moving back to Canada in 1972. Monica wrote 10 novels during his life. One of the more famous ones is The Apprenticeship of Daddy Kravitz. It's about a Jewish man living in the Mile End area during the 1930s and 40s. It featured many of the hotspots of the time. One of them is Walensky's, which is a sandwich bar that is still open today. It specializes in cherry coke and fried bologna sandwiches, and Richler dined at it frequently. The last novel he wrote was Barney's version. It was the most famous novel he ever wrote, and some considered it to be based loosely off of his life. He was working on a screenplay for it when he died in 2001, and it was made into a movie in 2010. He also wrote three children's books inspired by his youngest son, Jacob. These books are called Jacob Tutu and were made into a TV series that was broadcasted on YTV. Even though most people loved his novels, he was also a journalist and a very controversial figure. He had strong opinions about everything and wasn't afraid to voice them. Richler was strongly opposed to Quebec separating and had an article published in the New Yorker where he linked the party Quebecois to Nazism. This made him very unpopular with the Quebec politicians of the time. He didn't have a lot of patience for his religion either, and some extremists say that he was anti-Semitic. Mordecai died on July 3, 2001 of cancer. He was buried in Mount Royal Cemetery and the city of Montreal named a gazebo after him. His wife is currently working to create a replica of his office for the public to view. Mordecai Richler was a prominent figure in the Canadian literary landscape for more than 40 years. His books will be read by many people for years to come. I leave you with a quote by Mordecai Richler, which I believe expresses how he felt about writing and living. He said, fundamentally, all writing is about the same thing. It's about dying and the brief flicker of time we have here and the frustration that it creates.